a royal sleepover. Psst, Elsa! Anna gently nudged her sister. Wake up! Elsa shifted groggy. Go to bed, Anna, she said. I can't sleep. Anna flopped down on Elsa's bed. Then she smiled slyly. Wanna have a sleepover? Elsa opened her eyes and grinned. That sounded like fun. Anna went to her room to find extra pillows and blankets. Meanwhile, Elsa headed to the kitchen to get the ingredients for her famous honey cones. After all, a sleepover wasn't a sleepover without snacks. When Elsa got back to her room, she found Anna digging through the wardrobe. Aha, Anna cried. I knew it was here. Anna held up an old, worn book. Her parents had read it to the sisters every night when they were little. Let's see. We've got books, games, and this face cream Oaken gave me the last time I went to the trading post, Anna said. She opened the cream. It looks kind of gloopy. Elsa laughed. Let's save that for later. Elsa looked around. It had been a long time since she'd had a sleepover. So, what should we do first? She asked. Anna was ready. How about we build a fort? Like when we were kids, she suggested. Anna stacked pillows and blankets around the room, making lookouts and hidden caves. Meanwhile, Elsa created icy tunnels and snowy turrets. This is fun, Elsa said, putting the finishing touches on an icy archway. I think we should add a smack. Elsa felt something soft and feathery hit her back. She turned to see a fallen pillow and a giggling Anna. Oh, no, you don't, Elsa set, yelled, launching a snowball at her sister. Anna ducked, squealing in delight. Before long, the room was covered in snow flurries and feathers. Anna was zooming down an icy slide on the fort when there was a knock at the door. Is it daytime already? A familiar voice asked. Olaf, Anna cried. The sisters welcomed their snowman friend inside. Elsa explained that they were having a sleepover and invited Olaf to join them. A sleepover? Olaf asked, excited. Oh, I've always wanted to have one of those, he paused. What's a sleepover? We'll show you, Anna said. Come on, we were just about to play a game. Soon the friends were happily playing. Olaf was a natural at pick up sticks. And Anna was great at work of art. She guessed every drawing and sculpture. Charades proved to be a bit more challenging. Olaf twisted his body this way and that, making frantic gestures and grinning widely. The sisters didn't know what the answer could be. Finally, Elsa had an idea. Olaf, are you acting out, Summer? she asked. Yes, he cried. You're good at this. Elsa laughed. Maybe it's time we do something else, she said. How about a scary story? Anna went first, using her spookiest, most dramatic voice. According to the legend, the hairy hooligan only comes out on nights like these, looking for his next victim. How do you know when the hairy hooligan is around? Olaf asked. He lets out a low moan, Anna answered. Ooh. A sad whine echoed through the room. Wow, that's really scary, Anna, Olaf said, impressed. Ah, uh, Anna blinked. That wasn't me. Ooh. The cry sounded like it was coming from outside the castle. Elsa, Anna and Olaf ran to the window. There was a shadowy figure walking towards them. Stay here, Elsa said, running down the hall. But Anna and Olaf followed. They couldn't let Elsa face the hairy hooligan alone. Elsa opened the castle door and the friends peered into the darkness. Olaf held Anna's hand, bracing himself for the hairy hooligan's pointed teeth and sharp claws. 
But it wasn't a monster after all. It was Sven. Sven, Elsa called out. What's wrong? Anna took one look at the reindeer and guessed what was going on. You couldn't sleep, could you, Sven? She patted him on the nose. I bet Kristoff is snoring and keeping you awake. The troll said his snores are loud enough to start an avalanche. Sven nodded. You should come to our sleepover, Olaf said. From what I can tell, there's very little sleeping involved. Soon the group was happily settled in Elsa's room. How about another story? Elsa suggested. She held up the book her parents had read to her and Anna all those years earlier. Excellent, Anna agreed. She fluffed some pillows and she, Olaf and Sven got comfortable as Elsa began reading. Once upon a time... A little while later, Elsa reached her favourite part of the story. And then the brave queen slayed the dragon, she read. Elsa stopped hearing the sounds of heavy breathing around her. The rest of the slumber party had fallen asleep. Smiling, Elsa put down the book. She gently tucked it in Anna, Olaf and Sven and climbed into bed. Then, with one last look at Anna and her friends, Elsa too drifted off to sleep.